Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here, and welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we got all of our offloading bays for our raw minerals uh, set up here. We've got also our first rubite train delivering rubite to the system. Uh, and then we began working on setting up for a new steer, or well, basically our first steeritite mine, which is going to be over here. And we may potentially be setting up a steerotite mine up there as well to push steerotite into the system. Um, we are going to want another rubite mine at some point. There is a small one there, but um, I was looking around and didn't really see any really nice deposits of rubite uh, anywhere that was very convenient to get to. I mean, there's one up there, but it's kind of far away and surrounded by enemies. Um, so... I mean, we may need to utilize this little piece. Uh, we'll have to. We'll have to see. And there's another little bit right there. But for now, I mean, we have some, so that's good. Alright, so we're adding in bays here. And so we have a steer tight loading area. Now I did go ahead and uh, get the rest of the warehouses manufactured that we needed to fill out the rest of these areas over here so those are all in there even though I don't have any radar coverage so we can't really see it. Um, and I did let my logistics bots kind of fill me back up for all of my stuff. So we should be good there. Now, someone in the comments did suggest that I add some more logistics bots to the system. Um, not a bad idea, even though I do kind of want to minimize how many of these low tier bots I'm adding in. But I did throw, you know, a few more bots, I think like 15 or 20 more logistics bots into the system so that should kind of help a little bit and i added um a couple of more uh robo ports out here to begin expanding the network all right so we want to start setting up this mine well actually this is sulfuric acid we need to start bringing sulfuric acid in now, I know I have a locomotive, and I have one fluid wagon, so I'm going to need a second fluid wagon. So let me get some light down here. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw some wood bricks in there, and let's see. First stop is going to be the refueling station. We do need another refueling station built. That's going to be something else I'm going to have to think about doing. I actually have, I have an idea on how we were going to do that. Um... Let's see. Inactivity for five seconds, right? And then we want to. Go to sulfuric. Acid pickup. Inventory full. Or inactive. And then we go to sulfuric acid unload, inventory empty. All right, I just want to kind of monitor it. So 
this is sulfuric acid pickup, right? Yes. Uh, you just hit the sulfuric acid pickup. Alright, good. I should fill up real quick. And that should fire up also fuel acid production. To refill those tanks, yep. And then they arrive and dump out. And now I have sulfuric acid available. All right, for the mine. Good. So this is gonna be a matter of it transferring enough sulfuric acid to fill up those tanks, which would take like, looks like two loads. And then we'll hook up the mines to there and then it should just go grab some as it needs. All right, now I was saying for these mines, we're gonna wanna use, I think, we're gonna wanna use large area mining drills cobalt steel plate I apparently need some cobalt steel okay now the nice thing is is that these guys actually take the previous versions of the mining drills as inputs so, I can actually start building some of those while I wait for the cobalt steel to arrive. Um, cobalt steel plates, let's say we want 400 of that. And I want to make sure that we stay within logistics range. Uh, which basically is this entire, this entire deposit is in logistics range. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and start manufacturing these guys. And do I have stuff on the way? We have 400 on the way. Perfect. So the bots are in the air and bringing it at this very moment. All right, meantime. We're going to want to start bringing in the... We're going to want this. We're going to want to set up one of these. All right. Yes. Alright, and then you are going to be for aluminum plate. No, 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 no. We're doing um Steratite ore. Steratite ore and steratite ore. And this is loading, loading trains, right? Ah, there's all my cobalt steel. Beautiful. I made 10 of these, so let's go ahead and get those 10 upgraded. Huh. Ultimate inserters.
Yeah, I had it set up as ultimate inserters. That's interesting. Um, we want those ultimate inserters to be ultimate stack inserters. And then we go ahead and drop our book there. So let's go ahead and have these guys just pick that back up. No, I don't want you picking that up. I want... Okay. Oh, actually, that's... I have multiples of these. Okay, whatever. That works. Set these back up for the right ores. Okay, there we go. Alright, we have plate deliveries coming in. Alright. So these are marked for large area mining drills. Their coverage area should be fairly large, and it is. All right, so. We're actually going to need a lot more of these, it would seem. Fifteen of them. Now, uh, one thing we are going to have to think about is getting power over here. Gonna be the wrong way. And we are receiving deliveries, so. We'll route this around here. Do I want to just turn it there or duck under the tracks? No, let's turn it there. Clear these trees out of the way. All right. 
right, so... We're going to want to do this. Split it there. And sending you in there. All right, there we go. Loading. Steer it tight. We just need to now get all of the uh, these mines powered and laid out. Let's go ahead and actually drop in another substation. Oh, man, it's now it's getting really kind of hard to see. Uh, where everybody is, so let's see, how far can we go? Yep, that ought to do it. Alright. Now, right now, we're just mining the non-infinite ver- uh, portions of this of this uh, field Bring this through here. I think that this is probably going to be enough. Because I don't think our belt is going to be able to handle much more than that. Unless I want to take two belts. But um, I think for now what I'll do is I'll just fill in this side of this belt. And then we need to get some uh, sulfuric acid down here to uh, to get this really rolling. But let's go ahead and get those. I need some titanium plate. Is that on the way? We have 50 on the way, good. Alright, while well, I'm waiting for that titanium plate, we're gonna go ahead and, um... get this acid piped over. I want us to go with a Mark II pump. It should be sufficient.
bring the sulfuric acid down here. Let's go ahead and fill in. Okay, good. That's coming through there. And we're going to need probably to run some pipe there. Run some pipe there. Um, connect that there. And there we go. Everybody should now have sulfuric acid all the way out to the ends. Good. And yeah, I don't think we actually need any more mines than that right now for this particular mine until we get better belts. Once we get better belts, then we can expand this mine. Um... Or I could take a second belt. All right, let, let's 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 take a second line of belts. I think that's probably as much as I will want to do. And then we'll see if this thing can support... Two belts. Where's my undergrounds? Do I not have any undergrounds? I apparently don't. Well, now that's... Mm, slight annoyance, but ultimately I don't think it's going to cause us too much of a problem. But I will want to get those undergrounds. Okay, yep, these guys are not full. Which means we can put a bit more capacity on here. But it's pretty close to capacity, so I think that's probably good for now. Yep, we're short that titanium plate. That is what is holding us up right now. There's 40 on the way. Hey, 
right now those inputs are pretty well balanced. Because he's not trying to balance them out between the two. But it looks like we are drawing on the rubite faster than we can handle it. So we may need to think about expanding the rubite mine. By adding... You know, a large area mining drills to the rubite mine. Or, let's see, these are what? Mark II electric mining drills. Wait a minute, are they not getting enough electricity? Yeah, we are not producing enough electricity. Well, that is interesting. So I'll either have to bring... Bring the old coal plant back online. Not an impossibility. Or expand the nuclear plant. Two hundred and eight in storage there. Okay. Well, I think probably bringing the old uh, the old coal plant back online is going to be the easiest short-term solution, uh, rather than you know building an expansion to the uh, nuclear power plant, um, which is ultimately what we're going to need to do, but. Um, I think it would be best to just bring the old, the, the old coal plant online for the time being. But I'm going to go ahead here and do, I'm just going to pause recording while I walk over there and then take care of that. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, there we go. The old steam plant is, or the old coal fired plant is back up and running. Okay, so... We are still awaiting deliveries. I was able to manufacture a locomotive, but we still need more titanium for those cargo wagons. Which, I have titanium on the way. It's just a matter of when it's going to get here. Well, let's start, some of it's starting to arrive. Not enough, though. Okay, we can get one cargo wagon manufactured. Almost there for the second. There we go. There's a second cargo wagon. All right, perfect. What I'm actually going to do is just go ahead and assemble it here on the tracks. And yep, I'm going to cause a little bit of a traffic jam while I do that. So be it. I'm actually going to hop on board. Let's uh, Let's gas it up. And, uh, sorry, fueling station, inactivity. Uh, you are going to go to the steerotite loading, inventory full or inactive. And then you're going to go to the mineral depot, steerotite unload, inventory empty or inactive, I think. Yes. Let's go ahead and do it. I was also suggested that I could put
put a requester chest over here for wood to bring all that excess wood that I have in the system over here to be turned into wood blocks. Again, not a bad idea. Um, we'll see about doing that at some point here. Alright, that's probably good enough. Let's go ahead and head back over to the uh, Steeritite loading facility. Oh, all those... Oh, actually, hold on. Push on manual for just a sec. I got a lot of bots that need to make the little deliveries. That is a long stream of bots. Okay. That's probably good for now. Alright. They can catch up with me later. And actually, all of these ultimate stack inserters are actually loading faster than these loaders can put ore in the warehouses. So these actually load faster than these loaders. I don't know if they'll load faster than the ultimate loaders, you know, the green belts, but um, they load faster than the blue ones, a lot faster. At least that many of them do. All right, let these guys load all the way up. Okay, I'm going to take this delivery. Over here. So now we have Steerotite and we have Rubite in the system. We're going to have to improve the Rubite mining. Um, I am working on mining productivity, which will help as well. But. We now have what we need to begin working on this process here. And in fact, we need to set this up. Steer tight chunks. Do we can we make the flotation cell mark threes? Uh, flotation. No, that's leaching plant. Flotation cell mark threes. We can in fact make them. We're gonna need to ten of them for that. I need 10 of them for this. Crushed Steerotite. Steerotite or crushing. Crushed Rubite. Or crushers. Or crushers. Um, that's not terrible. Now this is going to produce calcium sulfate as a byproduct. Interesting. I'll have to figure out what I can do with calcium sulfate. I think there is some things I can do with calcium sulfate. I mean, it says sulfate, so I'm wondering if I can't use it in a sulfur process at some point. We'll have to see. Um, let's see, uh, calcium sulfate, I 
There we are. Where are you used? Synthesis sulfur dioxide from calcium sulfate. Yes, we can make sulfur dioxide gas. By mixing it with purified water, we'll get sulfur dioxide and lime. That's interesting. Okay. So we can use that to expand our sulfur production. Sulfuric acid production. Okay. Then we'll just have to deal with the lime. But, you know, that's, that's not hard to deal with, I don't think. Alright, so... That's transferring pretty fast. Yep, it's actually transferring faster than these guys can load. Wow, it's actually transferring faster than two of them can load. Nice. Actually, it looks like it's transferring as fast as two of them can load. Alright. What I think I'm going to go ahead and do is, is end the episode here. When we come back, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to start setting up this process for hydrofluoric acid synthesis. So we can at least start getting hydrofluoric acid being produced. And then once we have hydrofluoric acid being produced, then we can start looking into a potential jivalite mine. Um, we're also going to need to get a sapphirite mine, a crotinium mine, a bobmonium mine. All that sort of stuff up and running that are feeding this particular system. So, we have a lot of mines to build. Uh, fortunately, we have a big old sapphire deposit right there. So we can go ahead and continue to expand this facility. And we have a big old crotinium mine right there as well. So, we may even want to need to expand. Oh yeah, see here's the parking. You are waiting while this guy's loading. You may need to expand that parking. If that starts tailing back into this line, we'll have to expand the parking. Um, but... I think everything looks good. Yeah, so we'll probably set up a sapphire mine, a crotinium mine. Uh, there's a bobmonium mine, which we may need to expand uh, as well. Basically, upgrade all of these or uh, all these mining drills to uh, Mark IVs. I think we have now. Electric mine drill Mark IVs. That should increase their speed. And, uh, yeah. Start moving some bobmonium over here. Is there actually another mine? I remember bobmonium was rather difficult to find on its own initially. So, yeah, I don't see. Any other Bobmonium mine? No, there's a little one right there. That's kind of way out of the way, though. Alright. Well. We'll probably utilize this mining complex as much as we can. And then it's just a matter of getting... Jivalite in the system. From a deposit. There's a Jivalite deposit there. It's kind of out of the way, though. Inconvenient for how our system is currently set up. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, but for now, we'll go ahead and end this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.